Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Regina Ewing and Anita Elder. They're the sisters of Deputy Anthony Rakes, who was killed here in Marion County on November 14th, 2012, mm -hmm. correct? And today we're here because they're having a cattleman's cookout to raise some funds that's going to go to a good cause in honor of Deputy Rakes. But this is the first time you're actually having a cookout, right? right? Yes. In the past, you've had a service on the 14th in honor of your brother, right? Can you tell right. us a little bit about that? Yes, we, we had candlelight service where everybody would gather. We had someone to talk and, and pray and some music before. Okay. And as we said, this was, so this is the seventh year anniversary. Tell us what happened back in 2012, if you will, for us. It was just a nightmare. Just something we never thought would happen here in Marion County. When you're talking to your brother one day and the next you hear that he's been shot and sent to the hospital. Yes. And that was on duty when he was performing. I believe that was the first in nearly 100 years since we had somebody on duty yeah, and well, over 100 years since we had somebody in the county who had an instance like that. And it was in the evening, if I recall, correct? No, it was like almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, at night. At yeah. night, yeah. yeah. It was at night, so mm -hmm. you were probably asleep at the he time. He was on his way home, I think, right. and just stopped on the side of the road and seen this car stranded, and he just stopped to see what they needed for help. Yes. Okay, and that was, again, as we said, it was on November the 14th, 2012. So throughout the years, what made you decide to do the memorial service? To keep his memory alive. And I always know that this date is a date that he was killed. That he'll never be forgotten, ever. And as we said, this is the first year that you're doing the fundraiser. So you've partnered with the Cattlemen's Association. And where's the funds going from this? The Kentucky Boys and Girls Ranch, or camp. Yeah, it's the Kentucky Sheriff's Boys and Girls Camp. It's down by Land by the Lakes. They're saying the monies are going to go, that will help to potentially send maybe some of our residents here in Marion right. County to camp, correct? Yes. yes. Hopefully my son will go. He'd be, he's eight years old. Maybe he might be seven. He might look forward to going. There you go. There you go. And again, it was a partnership with the Cattlemen's Association. Right. Yes. So what would you like to say about your brother for our viewers here? Even though it's been seven years, it feels like yesterday i always want him remembered i'm just afraid after i'm gone one day he'll be forgotten and that's my biggest fear that he'll be forgotten one day i love him i miss him daily i can't handle it life without him it's so hard but i know he's in heaven in a better place and as we said we are recognizing the date, commemorating the date of November 14th, 2012, when Deputy Anthony Rakes with the Marion County Sheriff's Office did pass away as um, in the line of duty there for us here in Marion County. And these are his sisters who are keeping his memory alive. And do you think you'll continue having this cookout potentially next year? Do you think this is a new tradition? Yeah. Sure. Maybe the next fans will be for some other people who need help doing something. Going right. to camp or my daughter has autism. Maybe the next one we can have in memory of Anthony for autism awareness or something. Yeah. Okay. And it's November 14th. This has been Gary White for Channel 6 on Kentucky Television. Thank you very much.